Hello, I'm Tommy Horn. I'm part of the Heritage Committee here in Kimavi. As you can see, we're doing a fantastic extension here to the existing Heritage Centre. And uh, as you see, it's moving along fairly well. At this stage, we have the walls, windows in, and believe it or not, we're putting on a thatched roof. And there's huge interest in this thatched roof, and I'm going to talk to the thatcher. He's from, I think, Clare. So uh, his name is Dave, and uh, we're going to have a word just to find out exactly how the thatching is done. You're welcome to MV. Thanks very much. Uh, you're from Clare. That's right, yeah. Right. Native and, of uh, Venice, County Clare. Very good. And um, this is very unusual for us to see here in Kim I'd say it's a long time since there was a, a roof or a house thatched in, in Kim Right. Probably many years ago. Hopefully it's the first of many. <laughs> Hopefully it's the first of many for, for your sake. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's amazing. We're watching you all week and you've had loads of visitors. Um, we're going to ask you maybe uh, how long have you been at it, uh, now, Dave? Yeah, uh, probably about 20 years since I first started. Right, right. So, so you, you're you're a professional thatcher at this stage. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how did you learn your trade? Um, well, there wasn't a scheme or a training course at the time, so basically I had an interest in it. So I found one thatcher, worked with him for six months. Right. Then worked with some other thatchers and walked for it. So really, you had to seek out the guys and. Yes. You know, learn a little bit of all of them, you know, to learn the trade. So it, it was um, it was worth, well worthwhile, even though you didn't get any money for doing it at the time. No, it was, it was the only way you were going to get trained yes. in that, you know. And then people could see you were genuine if you were willing to turn up somewhere and work for the week, you know. Right. So. so are there many people like yourself in Ireland at the moment that actually uh, has a trade in thatching? Mm, I guess I'd say there's 30 full-time thatchers. Is there really? Yeah, right. okay. between 20 and 30. Right. Uh, yeah. A uh, big difference to years ago when every house was thatched and uh, every Yeah, yeah. they have always used the local material, you know what I mean, yes. it was close to them and Yes, that's what I was going to ask you, uh, the materials you're using, where, where did it come from? Yeah, this comes from Turkey, it's imported water reed And uh, it's good, you can get it 12 months of the year, you know Right, okay and Still use Irish stuff, but it's short season, you know, it runs out by March, April. Right, okay. But, okay. Uh, it's always nice to use a bit of that as yeah. well. And would that last long, um, Dave? Yeah, about 20 to 30 years. Right, that's great. Yeah. That's great, yes. There's about a 14 inch thickness in it. Right, okay. But you know, it grows in water as well, so it's got all the natural properties, the okay. silica, you know. Yes. And the, and the water just runs down. The water will never penetrate more than a couple of inches here. Right, Any time okay. it hits a reed, it's always going right, to okay. follow that reed out again, you right, know. Okay. Um, that's amazing. Um, you're getting on quite well with it. Um, you yeah. Maybe as far as I can see, three quarters of the roof done. Yeah. And across the ridge, uh, Dave, will it be any different to the rest of it, or will it be any? It'll be a butt up reed ridge, so you'll be seeing a lot of straight ridge, and then I'll do a pattern with some bamboo. Oh yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. So we just keep it simple, traditional looking, you know. Yeah. Very well. Very yeah. well. Um, Dave. Um, you know, I've never really seen the tattoo tattoo close up. I wonder if it's possible to go have a look. Not a butter, yeah. And you can show us how you actually do yep. uh, tattoo on your Welcome okay. to my office. Thank you. I'm going to climb the ladder up after Thank you. So. Well, Dave, you're going to show us now how to um, actually do some tattooing. Yeah. Um, if you pass me that tool beside you, I'll show you what I use for. What's this tool uh, called, Dave? That's what we call a side pin. It's for checking the depth of your tatch. Right. I have a, a mark there that's 12 inches from the tip. Okay. So what we do is you just get to the catch and you go around until you find the batten. Right. There's a the batten there now. Yes. So that'll tell me my depth. So let's pull it out. You can see I have a 12 inch mark there, so it's 13 foot, close to 15 inches to take. The right, the is. whole, the, the hatch itself. Yeah. So okay. Can you, you, can you just give, give us a uh, display on how you actually Touch to touch, yeah. You put the bundle on the roof first. Yeah, and they're held in with these are called crooks. Yes. And I just use them as a temporary fixing until I'm ready to dress the reed. Okay. So I get my crook out. Into work.
That, that's a, it's a great skill, Dave, but you make it look very easy. Well, it takes a good man to make it look easy for me. <laughs> Just dressing that joint there, yes. so... Yeah, I'm amazed at the way it has blended in with the rest of the roof. It just yeah. looks so natural. Yeah, when you finish your bundle, you leave a little lip up here. So when you're dressing your next one, the two of them, you work them in together. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. you don't want lines running across your roof. So that's it. Okay, Dave. Very last day, then I go over the whole roof and give the final cleaning and the dressing off. Right, and that's the finishing touches. That's the finishing touches, yeah. Yeah, well, we're, we're all looking forward to uh, the final product and especially the ridge across the top. Uh, you're, you're going to keep it simple, but you're going to put a bit of a design on it. Just a bit of a pattern in the hazel work, you know? Yes, yeah. that's, that should be very nice. Um, well, Dave, thank you very much for taking time out to uh, show us the art of thatching. And uh, the best of luck for the rest of the job. And as I said before, it's been a long time since there was a thatched house in Kilvey, or a house that was thatched, and it'll probably be a long time again. So you never know. Um, might be moving up. Uh, so that we're, we, the next Heritage Night will be having it actually here in this new building uh, under your thatch. So we're going to maybe invite you up from Clare, uh, Dave, Clare. and uh, we'll have a bit of uh, song, dance, and storytelling, and maybe a bit of homemade cooking. So you'll be very welcome. Thanks very much. Thank you, Dave.